Hello, um, today lesson we will learn um, how to graph a logarithmic function. So let's do this before we graph a logarithmic function. So we're gonna do the graph the e uh, two to the x. This function, exponential function, we learned to graph before. Um, so the graph of the function, um, this one, the first one, you're gonna pass to um, two points. Uh, so the first point that would be um, the first point is pass through is passing um, to two point. Uh, that first would be um, zero one, and the second thing and it passing to that would be one two. Right. So we learned is in um, um, exponential function, uh, and it have the horizontal asymptotes, horizontal uh, asymptotes. Right. Uh, so we're going to do over here. So let go uh, through this one. So I'm going to use the graph right here. Um, I'm going to put the horizontal asymptote right here and have, have point zero one and then one, two right here. Now we learned last time about logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function. So therefore the point here, it kind of reverse. So uh, in test of passing this, so this one would be passing, we're going to, um, reverse the order. So get it passing one, zero, yeah? And then the point, the other point passing would be two, one. Okay. So I'm gonna grab like that. And instead of have horizontal asymptotes, this one will have the vertical asymptote, vertical asymptotes. Okay. So you have in there, okay? So we're gonna use this idea to grab the second one and you will see they are um, symmetric over the um, y equal x. Um, so I'm going to have my vertical asymptotes um, for this one right here. I'm going to choose this option, right? So I have my vertical asymptotes right here. I can go up and down. I have like this, yes. And then um, I will have, I'm going to have the point passing to point one zero, which is right here. And then two one right here. So that you see the two curve right here, symmetric um, over the line y. If you draw the line y equal x right here, it's going to be, symmetric over. Um, and so now you look at the domain of the function log, you see all the number here, it never go past it this way. It's gonna be from bigger than zero, very close to zero, but never hit zero. It look like this, but it's zoom out. You, you always see a little space between that and zero. And then it's gonna go all the way over here. So the domain of the log function will be from zero to infinity and the range from the negative infinity to infinity, just like the way they, they have right here. Um, this is domain of the um, log function, zero to infinity, that you see that. And here the range. And again, so these two here, they reverse this exponential function, the domain become the range. And this here domain of the log become the range of the exponential function. They are reverse the order that way. Um, so that how you, um, see it go, um, the graph, it go like this, that's what we see in there, yeah? Uh, now we're gonna use this idea, so the basic graph right here, we're gonna use this to graph the function like this one right here, okay? So now we're gonna learn how to use this basic uh, graph of logs um, base two of x, and we're gonna graph this one right here. So as we learned about transformation before, so this one, I mean, we move to the right two, and then we move a four. So everything move. So um, this this graph right here, so uh, this vertical line right here, gonna move to the right two. So instead of here, it's gonna move right here. And move up or down, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. However, this point will change here. You move to the right two and then you move up four. So it's gonna be right here. And this point will here move to the right two and then up four. So it's gonna be um, right here. Yeah. Uh, move to, I'm gonna have to be careful, move right two and up to one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be right there, right? So every single point will move in that one. So. Now I'm gonna remove um, this old graph right here. Then I can have the correct answer. Um, so 
So after I remove that, I submit. So I have the correct answer that what you have, you see that before, right? Um, so uh, that's how you use the transformation to um, graph the log if you know the basic function. So again, let me grab the basic function here for you to see again. Uh, so over here, I can use the vertical asymptotes as um, right here. Yes, zero, zero right here. And then a passing to the point one and two, one right here. And then from that, I move. So I move everything to the right two and then a four. Right two and then a four. So I have that point right there. 